Hello Techies, welcome back to Tech Reviews with Tech on Code. Right here with me is a very interesting device with some really great features like Mac charging, curved AMOLED screen, reverse charging, amongst other features. Those are some of the cool features of the Infinix Note 40 Pro, but we won't be discussing it alone. We will be comparing it with the Redmi Note 13 Pro. There is a fierce battle going on in the mid-range smartphone market, and the Infinix Note 40 Pro and the Redmi Note 13 Pro are two devices that have stirred considerable debate in the category, so we are pitching them against each other in today's review. Now let's kick things off with the battle of the batteries. They both have a 5000 mAh battery, but while the Redmi Note 13 Pro comes with a blazing fast 67 w charging, the Infinix Note 40 Pro steps into the ring with a 70 w multi-speed fast charging thanks to the innovative Cheetah X1 power management chip. And that's not even all. Infinix follows it with a 20 w wireless Mac charge, which allows you to charge your device without going about with a USB cord. Just slap on those magnetic accessories and you are good to go. Not to even mention the reverse charging feature which allows you to charge other devices with your device. Infinix literally drops mic there. Now let's talk style and substance. The Infinix Note 40 Pro comes in a 3D curved AMOLED 120Hz display while the Redmi Note 13 Pro doesn't have a curved display but still shares the AMOLED and 120Hz display with its rival. Also, the Infinix Note 40 Pro has a slightly bigger screen at 6.78 inches compared to the 6.67 inches of the Redmi Note 13 Pro. And talking about the screen resolution, for the Redmi Note 13 Pro, we have 1080 by 2400 pixels. And for the Infinix Note 40 Pro, we have 1080 by 2436 pixels. For Nigerians, the advancement in Android 14 could mean more efficient data management features, which is crucial to varying internet speed and cost of data. Also, Android 14's improved power efficiency features helps users maximize their device's battery life. As for processors, the Infinix Note 40 Pro takes the lead again with the G99 Ultimate processor that improves your experience with switching between apps and playing games. As for the Redmi Note 13 Pro, it plays catch up with just the G99 processor. The Redmi Note 13 Pro comes with a 200 MP main camera with OIS technology, plus an 8MP camera and another 2MP camera. While the Infinix Note 40 Pro comes with a 108MP main camera, plus a 2MP camera and another 2MP camera, also with OIS technology. The Infinix Note 40 Pro however comes hard with its 32MP front camera as compared to the 16MP front camera of the Redmi Note 13 Pro. For storage, let's take a closer look at what the Infinix Note 40 Pro brings to the table. The Infinix Note 40 Pro comes equipped with a generous 256GB of internal storage, providing ample space for your photos, videos and favorite apps, along with a speedy 8GB of RAM, which is quite enough for smooth multitasking and seamless performance, whether you are working, streaming or gaming. But Redmi Note 13 Pro comes with a base model of 256GB of storage and 8GB of RAM. and 512 GB of storage and 12 GB of RAM for the higher end variant. Lastly, let's check the price and value proposition. At 396,900 Naira, the Infinix Note 40 Pro delivers a knockout combination of premium features and innovation. Meanwhile, the Redmi Note 13 Pro goes for a staggering price of 530,000 Naira, meaning you will end up paying more for those extra bells and whistles. So there you have it guys, the Infinix Note 40 Pro wins this round of the smartphone showdown as it offers a perfect blend of luxury, performance and practicality that's tailor made for style loving users at an unbeatable value. You might want to level up your smartphone game with the Infinix Note 40 Pro. What devices should we compare next? Let's know in the comments.